Hello and welcome to our presentation. My name is Shivani Patel and my colleagues Kirsty Cullen and Abigail Sarkodi and I studied the paper The Histone de Methiaways JHDM1A regulates hepatic gluconeogenesis for our presentation. Hepatic gluconeogenesis is required for maintaining glucose homeostasis in the blood, but to date, the impact of chromatin modifying enzymes on gluconeogenesis is poorly understood. This report set out to gain some clarity on this matter. The idea that histone demethylases modulate chromatin structure and therefore gene expression by catalyzing the removal of methyl groups from specific lysine residues in histone tails. Using this knowledge, they set up an RNA interference screen comparing the known histone demethylases and identify JHDM1A, which is a demethylase which acts on the dimethylated H3 lysine 36 as a key negative regulator of gluconeogenesis. Their results show that it's a role to regulate the expression of CEBP alpha, which is a major role is a major glucogenic regulator. These findings could have important implications for the treatment of diabetes in the future. The treatment of Hep G2 cells. Histone demethyloases are classified into two groups. The first group contain two genes, LSD1 and LSD2. These enzymes catalyse demethylation via an FAD-dependent oxidative reaction. The second group contain JMJC domain. These enzymes use Fe2 and the intermediate metabolite, alpha-ketoglutarate, as cofactors to catalyse a hydroxylation-based demethylation. In order to see whether JMJC domain contain, containing histone demethylase is involved in the regulation of gluconeogenesis, the human hepatoma Hep G2 cells were treated with N-oxaliglycine, NOG, or its derivative dimethyloxaliglycine, DMOG. These were then examined for the expression of gluconeogenic enzymes. The three rate-limiting enzymes are phosphophenolpyruvate carboxykinase, PEPCK, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, FBP1, and glucose 6-phosphate, G6Pase. Generally, NOG and DMOG are enzymatic inhibitors of histone demethylases. Treatment with either of these compounds led to an increase in PEPCK levels and G6Pase levels. This indicated a potential requirement for histone demethylation activity for gluconeogenesis. JHDM1A inhibition. This experiment is testing whether JHDM1A regulates gluconeogenesis in live animals. They found 5 lentoviro JHDM1A knockdown contrasts. This test was carried out by the knockdown efficiency by RT QPCR in mouse cell culture. From these, two of the best ones were transferred into indenoviral vector and later on verified that they were able to decrease the levels of JHDM1A interviro. This was done by injecting mice with JHDM1A knockdown adenoviruses are measured by PEPCK, G6 phase and JHDM1A levels after five days. Based on our experimental findings, JHDM1A was inhibited and there was an increase in PEPCK and G6 phase levels. Association of CEBP alpha with PEPCK and G6PAs. The experiment has found that there was a lack of association between JHDM1A and the gluconeogenic enzymes. This led them to realise that it must not regulate their expression directly, but in a more indirect way. To test this, they set up an RNA interference screen with the known histone demethylases. They knocked down JHDM1A in human Hep G2 cells and examined their expression. What they found was that the transcriptional factor CEBP alpha was the only one that showed a significant increase in the presence of knockdown JHDM1A. 
This suggests that JATDM1A regulates the EBP alpha. Following this, they used a chip assay to examine the association between CEBP alpha and the gluconeogenic enzymes against the association between immunoglobulin and the gluconeogenic enzymes. They found that CEBP alpha from the samples that had knocked down JHJM1A had a much higher association with PEPCK and G6Pase promoter sites than the other samples did. This showed that where JHJM1A was less present, there was more CEBP alpha, which in turn led to a much higher association with the enzyme promoter binding sites, providing evidence that GHDM1A negatively regulates gluconeogenesis. In recent years, a number of histone demethylases have been identified. While this, these discoveries have dramatically changed the views that histone methylation was a stable, non-erasable marker, our knowledge regarding the functions of these demethylases is still very limited. However, in this experiment, using a short RNA screen on a known histone demethylases, JHDM1A was identified to negatively regulate the glucogenic gene PEPC and G6 phase expression in intravaro and in vivo. It came to light that GHDM1A does not directly control PEPCK and G6 PAs expression, rather it exerts its function through the regulation of CEBP alpha. GHDM1A negatively regulates the expression of CEBP alpha by dimethylating H3K36 on the CEBP alpha locus. Thank, Thank you, you for, for listening. listening.